Hello everyone, my name is Vikal Jain and today I am going to show you how to create traffic lights dashboard in Excel. So I have taken three sales executive over here and some random sales made by them from January to December. For making traffic light dashboard, we need to take three steps. We need to calculate the total sales then we need to calculate the average then range so we are going to calculate the total sales over here what we are doing we are going to do we are going to calculate the total sales based on some months for example if i am taking january uh, april month here then it will going to make the total of only four months and if i am going to take the august then it is going to make the total of eight month here so that is going to uh, do by me so basically now what we are going to do we are going to create a data validation so that we can create a list over here so insert data validation data data validation and from the validation criteria i'm going to take a list now source is my month name so click ok now if i'm going to take may then it is going to take the total of from January to May 1. So the figure are updating due to rand between function. It has a updated uh, an uh, updation feature. So it automatically update when I refresh my sheet. You may paste the value. So now what we are going to do, we are going to make a total for totaling sales depend on some months so we need to calculate the position of may so may is the fifth position and that can be calculated by match function match lookup value is this comma now lookup array would be this lock it press f4 comma zero so may month ends on fifth position now b7 is a constant so i'm going to lock it also now, we need to calculate the total of uh, January to May. So we need to calculate the width 1 to 5th. So that can be dealt uh, with offset function. Now, reference is starting point. From where do you want to start the total? I want to start from here. Now, rows means how many rows do you want to switch from your initiation point? I don't want to switch any row. I don't want to switch any column now height uh, height is one and width is five cells so here is width close the parentheses now i'm going to make a total of five cells so i'm going to use some function here close the parentheses and control enter now you can check the total Two, three, five, five, seven. So it is working fine. Let's drag and drop. Now the second step is average. So for average, I have taken a new sheet, working sheet. Now here is the total which I have done earlier. Now I have calculated the average. Now I have decided a range ninety percent lower and 110 upper so 10 percent margin i am taking now i am going to calculate the range of these values where these values are lying with the average are these on red side the yellow side or green side so let's take a formula f function if if this value is less than my lower value or equal to my lower value then the value would be equal sign why i'm taking equal sign because uh, equal sign in web things denote dots so if the value would not uh, less than to it then i'm going to take nothing close the parentheses and enter v2 b8 i need to lock it drag and drop 
so this value is below then lower value now for yellow we need to take two conditions so i'm going to take off uh, take help of two functions if an and function and if this value is greater than this one and this value is less than this one so i need to lock it lock it close the parentheses and if the value is true again i'm taking the equal sign comma nothing for errors so this value is in the average now for green i'm going to take the if function once again if this value is greater than this one lock it then equal sign once again close the parentheses and end up now it is working fine 24000 is lying between this 22000 is below than this so it is right so now we need to change the format to web banks now you can see that's i have taken the bullet sign now for linking these dots to my red lights one what we need to do we need to enable a tool in ribbon so this camera tool i have to enable so for that we need to customize our ribbon now you can go for all commands and search for the camera and add to it or i have added my camera to quick access toolbar so you may do the same activity with the quick access toolbar all commands and camera you may add it i have already added it so cancel so now we need to take a snapshot of it with the camera like this now paste it here with the mouse and here it is now we can copy and paste it paste 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 why have taken three red lights because there are three names so every light is denoting different name now we need to link this light with the cell as you can see on the screen it is denoting c3 for this red light is for vehicle chain so c3 is so we need to link c2 d2 and e2 so c2 q and e2 now c4 d4 and e4 as you can see so my dashboard is ready you may take different image to make impressive your dashboard now keep enjoying and